fuck. What the fuck happened? Why? Why is my hair colored? Good morning, stupid bitch. Oh my god. Did did you do this to my hair? Yeah, I did mine too. We're basically twins now, right? Well, fuck you. How'd you even pull this off anyways? <laughs> well, it's sort of a long story. So you better buckle up, pal. First I snuck into the kitchen, and then I went behind the counter where they keep all of the fun stuff. Then I rummaged around in the utensil drawer, trying to find the perfect tool for my master plan. Finally, I found it. But soon enough, a lunch lady came from the back and caught me. Hey, you're not so I grabbed to another tool, and I made sure to get my bluff in with this one. She quickly remembered that she had a long list of chores waiting to be done in the back room. So as she disappeared, I decided it was the perfect time to go ahead and start the next phase of my plan. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell are you talking about? What does this have to do with my fucking hair? So then, I took this whisk, and I crushed up this bottle of candy! And before leaving the kitchen, I also swiped some food coloring. Let me guess. You mix the food coloring and powder into some sort of fucking hair paste? Uh, no. I mix the food dye with conditioner. I sniff the candy powder, silly! <coughs> and with the food dye and conditioner, I transformed our hair into beautiful rainbows! Well... Kind of worked. What the fuck? I didn't ask for this. Hugo, you're called in for a meeting. I did not ask for this shit either. Okay, see you later, twin. <sighs> fuck this shit. <sighs> fuck do you want? I've already been interrupted so many times today. I don't need this shit. And I literally don't even know where I am. It's 12.17 here on this beautiful Thursday, and we're here interviewing Hugo. A fucking interview? That's what you interrupted me for? My first question is, do you know how you got here? I really don't. The last thing I remember is my fucking house getting broken into. Everything after that is completely blank. Hmm, that's a very interesting response. Our next question refers to this hard drive we found after further investigation in your house. When we transferred all the contents into DVD, we found that 1217 appears a lot. 1217, what does it mean? Does this correlate to you in any way? No. Okay, moving on. We found a mask that appears to play a crucial part in your recordings. <gasps> I got rid of you! Do you mind explaining this strange object? The mask is evil, it correlates with all my inner demons that I've been trying to hide all my life, but they keep coming back to haunt me. Please help me, please help me, I can't get them to stop, I can't get them to stop, I can't get them to stop. Next question. In the recordings, there's this woman named Stella who appears very often. Does she have any correlation to you? No, 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 no. I, I don't even know who she is. I, I just met her today. She's... She's my bestest friend in the world. The best one that anyone could ever ask for. Okay, Hugo, our final question is about a girl named Vessa who you seemed to visit a while ago. What happened to her? My name's not Yoga! Yeah! What does he mean? I don't know what's wrong with him. Yep. 
very interesting. He sometimes that. refers to yep. himself as. Fucking cat back. 